Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly reading with me Deborah. Thank you for clicking onto this channel. This reading is from the 1st of April, which is the Friday, until the 7th of April, which is the following week, Thursday. We're going to start out your reading by looking at um, what is coming in for you during this week. We're going to first start out by looking at what situation is unfolding, what is happening with you. Is there any challenge that you should be aware of, any um, situation that you should know about? Then we're going to read the energy that lies underneath the deck, and we will see what you do not see coming. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to turn one of the oracle cards and get out um, a spirit guide message for you with regards to what is unfolding this week. So let's get started, Taurus. We've got a justice card in the reverse position. We've got a page of cups coming in here, a two of pentacles. I see how this is going and a three of swords. So this reading, Taurus, is very specific. Um, it's going to be for a very specific few of you guys. I feel whoever I'm reading for right now is holding on to the hope that somebody who actually hurt them might be coming back into their life. But there has been an injustice that has taken place here with this um, justice card being in the reverse position. That is um, Libra's energy, by the way. You have got the page of cups, which is this person that you're hoping, or maybe they have, have already come in. I'm just saying it can be both ways. It can be this person has actually come back to you after they have done an injustice. Okay, can be either which way. And now either you're hoping they're coming back or they have come back in. Okay, with a page of cups being here, it's like I'm hoping for this new start with this person. Even though the justice card is here and the three of swords is there as well. The three of swords can be an indication of deceit or betrayal in some kind of way okay um, the two of Pentacles coming up here is literally showing holding on you're holding on to hope you're holding on to uh, the dream or the hope that this person may come back to you it's like I'm holding on to this I'm holding on to the hope even if this person has already contacted you and come back into your life it's almost like you're really holding on to uh, the hope that everything will be okay which is interesting. So I actually want to see now what we do not see coming. The energy that lies under this deck. I'm so curious, guys. Let's have a look and see. The Page of Cups. You've got a pay, the Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups here. You've got the Two of Wands. You've got a Nine of Swords. Hmm. You've got an Eight of Swords. And you've got a Two of Cups. All right, <laughs> okay, a lot of caps in your reading. So what I can tell you here is that you're going to have to make a decision about this person and what is happening here because you've got a Knight of Swords coming in and the Page of Swords here. Both of these are in the reverse position. The thing is with this person, what I've noticed with your guys' connection is that this person does a lot of things that actually hurts you. They do a lot of things that hurt you. Um, yes, there is some kind of love between the two of you. You know, there's something going on here. There's emotion between the two of you with the two of cups, but it is in the reverse position, which the, it shows that there is an indication that there is something wrong here with your guys' connection. Another thing that I'm noticing is the two swords that have popped up at the bottom here. The nine of swords comes in, which is that indication of what I saw, like somebody doing something to you that is that hurts you, that they do, they're causing stress in your life, they're causing problems in the connection, and it always makes you get upset like this, it always makes you end up having to sit and cry about something that they've done, or worry about something, and with the Eight of Swords being there, I really feel like this is part of the problem. It is because these two knight, this page and the knight of cups are in the reverse position. This is an indication that um, they really, they're not as serious as you want them to be. They are not as serious as you would like them to be. This is your big problem. They are not taking this connection or the love that you guys are, share, are sharing with each other as seriously as you are taking it. And I will tell you, I feel like with the Eight of Swords being here, it's almost like they are in purposefully or intentionally um, doing something to prevent this relationship from going to where you want it to be. That's a problem. That's a problem because if somebody goes, I'm going to date you, but I'm never really planning on being faithful to you, 
and have a long-term monogamous relationship, monogamous, yeah, relationship with you. That's a problem because I don't feel like that's what you want. And that's why you're going to have to eventually make a decision here about them. I've got to see for you guys what advice your spirit guides have got to give you. you got spring. Wait. I just realized I want to shuffle. I never shuffle you guys' cards. <laughs> Let me shuffle quickly before I pick up any cards. Oh my goodness. Let's get in here and have a look and see. What advice do your spirit guides have to tell you with regards to this connection? Let's see what will come up. Spirit guides, what is going on here? Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, you've got the snake. Shed old skin. So you've really got to look at what is no longer making you feel comfortable, what is no longer meant for you, what is um, not fitting in your world anymore. Because honestly, you know, when the snake gets ready to shed that skin, it's very uncomfortable. It starts to get tighter and tighter and dry and all these funny things until the snake cannot bear it anymore. And it has to fight its way out of its own skin. And it's interesting that this card is coming right underneath this. It's almost like this connection with this person no matter how much you love them, um, is becoming to the coming to the point where it's becoming so uncomfortable, so unbearable to carry the, the pain that is being caused by this connection that eventually you're going to have to make a decision to possibly even move away from it. You've got to do, my beautiful, lovely Taurus, what is right for you. Okay, I'm sending my love to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in my other readings. Bye.